Hi everyone, today we're going to read Henny Penny Retold by Bonnie Dobkin. Henny Penny lived with her friends in a wonderful kingdom of forests, meadows, and ponds. It was a perfect as a place as you could imagine, unless you were Henny Penny. One morning, Henny Penny was talking with her friend, L Ducky Lucky. The sun was shining and the sky was blue. Breezes played with the leaves of the tree. What a perfect day, said Ducky Lucky. Oh, yes, said Henny Penny. I just hope it doesn't get too hot or too windy. Or, oh my goodness, what if it rains? Ducky Lucky shook his head. You worry too much. Why don't you just go look for something to eat? Well, all right, said Henny Penny. I suppose I could hunt for some nice crunchy bugs. So Henny Penny wandered up and down the road, picking and flicking and pecking and checking, and finally she stopped under an old oak tree. Bugs and grubs were everywhere. Ooh, those look tasty, said Henny Penny. I only hope I don't get sick from eating too much. Well, just then the wind puffed and through the branches of the oak tree, it loosened an acorn and the acorn fell straight on down and clunk. It hit Henny Penny on the head. Ouch, she cried. What was that? She looked around but didn't see anything. Oh my goodness, the sky must be falling. I must go and tell the king right away. Henny Penny fluttered back down the road. Soon she passed the pond where her friend was swimming. What's wrong? asked Ducky Lucky. Henny Penny didn't even stop. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. I must go and tell the king. Are you sure? asked Ducky Lucky. I remember when you lost a feather and thought your wing was coming off. Look, look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. I tell you, the sky is falling. Then I'll come with you, said Ducky Lucky, and he jumped out of the pond. Soon they came upon Turkey Lurkey, who was gobbling berries from a bush. What's the matter, he asked. Why are you two running? The sky is falling, said Henny Penny and Ducky Lucky. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure, said Turkey Lurkey. I remember when you... Well, Ducky Lucky believes me, said Henny Penny. Besides, look at this big bump on my head. Well, said Turkey Lurkey, if you have a bump and Ducky Lucky believes you, then it must be true. And he spit out his berries, ran, and joined them. Next, they saw Goosey Lucy arranging some twigs in her nest. What's the matter? Why are you two running? Or why are you three running? The sky is falling cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey. We must go and tell the king. Are you sure? asked Goosey Lucy. I remember. Look, look at this bump on my head, said Henny Penny. I'll tell you, the sky is falling. Well, said Goosey Lucy, if you have a bump on your head and Ducky Lucky believes you and Turkey Lurkey has joined you, then it has to be true. And she began waddling beside them as fast as she could waddle. The four friends were nearing the forest. Cocky Locky was roosting on a tree branch, practicing his crow. What's the matter, he asked. Why are you all running? The sky is falling, said Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, and Lucy Goosey. We must go and tell the king. My goodness, that's four friends now. Are you sure, asked Cocky Locky. Look at the bump on my head, said Henny Penny. The sky is definitely falling. Well, said D Cocky Lucky, if you have a bump and Ducky Lucky believes you, Turkey Lurkey joins you, Goosey Lucy says it's so, then it must be true. And he fluttered down from the branches. Oh my goodness, I got five friends now. Now the five friends hurried into the forest. They have gone only a little way when Foxy Lopsy stepped out from a cluster of trees. Oh my, he said, you all look so distressed. What 
whatever is the matter? The sky is falling, cried Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. We must go and tell the king. Why, of course you must, said Foxy Loxy. Listen, my friends, I know the king well, and I also know a shortcut to the palace, so follow me. There isn't a moment to lose. The fox led them further into the woods, down a trail, twisty and turning trail. All right, we're almost there, said Henny, asked Penny, Hen, asked Henny Penny. Almost, said Foxy Loxy, but oh dear, you all look so tired. Should we stop at my den for a moment? You can meet my family and rest for a bit. Oh yes, please, said Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Locky. Oh my goodness, they do look tired. Right this way, said Foxy Loxy. As they walked, he told them about his lovely, lovely, right, lovely wife, Roxy Loxy, and he told them about the four little Loxies, Moxie, Soxie, Poxy, and Doxy. What he didn't tell them was that all five were sitting around the dinner table waiting for Foxy Loxy. Well, here we are, said Foxy Loxy, stopping at the front door. He bowed and waved his arm toward the dark opening underneath, and Henny Penny, Ducky Lucky, Turkey Lurkey, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Lucky all marched down into the fox's den. Now two things didn't happen that day. The sky didn't fall, and no one ever met with the king. But Foxy Loxy's family still talks about that wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks guys, I'll see you soon.